everyone, I'm Florian Puhani and I've never even really liked archer push-ups. So why would I make a video about them? On request, as usual? Actually, no. But then again, this is not really a video about archer push-ups anyway. I just haven't found a better name yet for the exercise variation that I've tested out of curiosity lately. So I named it after what I thought it was most closely related to. A few months ago I purchased a simple cable pulley, but I've rarely used it since then. Just for some experiments before I came up with the idea of the pendulum apparatus. Lately I've been thinking about using the cable pulley as an assistance tool for muscle ups. But I haven't succeeded yet constructing something practical in that regard. Then last week, completely on impulse, I wanted to see what would happen if I put a gymnastics ring on each end of the cable pulley. So I did, and I played around with them, until I discovered this one-arm movement, and it became clear to me almost immediately I liked it much better than conventional archer push-ups. So what could be the advantages of this exercise variation? Let's begin with the least important and most debatable one. To me, moving out of the symmetry line of my body like this has always felt a bit awkward. But of course, that's just my personal preference. You could as well call it functional training and especially appreciate the conventional archer push-ups for exactly that reason. As for me, when it comes to push-ups, I'm more of a sagittal plane guy. Mostly up and down and a bit forward and backward. That's how you move in the cable version. But the next point is something I think most of us will agree on. It would be nice to get a better pre-stretch on the side of the dynamic arm. Well, no problem, you just have to adjust the length of the cable accordingly. As you can see, I set the cable to a length that even allows me to rotate my shoulder back and forth a bit. So much for moving in the sagittal plane only, huh? But since this rotation targets the lateral oblique muscles, which are both functional and showy when shredded, I just couldn't resist it. Which means on the other hand, if you just want to target the same muscles as in a standard push-up, you have to keep the cable somewhat longer, so that the ring on the static side hits the floor just before the rotation of the upper body would start. But the option of this rotational component brings us to the third advantage. If you are a martial artist, you will agree this movement mimics a cross punch more than any other kind of push-up. So you can use it to train your punching power more functionally. Now let's have a look at the static side. The static arm staying vertical like in a plank position means another advantage. It puts your shoulder and biceps tendons completely at ease metaphorically speaking. So if you have a nagging injury there that would prevent you from doing any other kind of push-ups, you can still do the cable arches, albeit with the other arm only. And I wish I could tell you the static arm staying vertical all the time also meant greater isolation of the dynamic side, but that doesn't seem to be the case at all. The exercise feels much too easy for that to be true. And I'm really sorry, but I haven't figured out the exact biomechanics yet. So much for German engineering, huh? So if you have a theory why the cable archers are considerably easier, not just than one-arm push-ups, but also conventional archer push-ups, please tell me in a comment below. Anyway, the exercise being that easy makes it more accessible to those of you who are less advanced, but still would like to include some unilateral work in their chest workouts. And as soon as you need more resistance, you can always hang on some extra weight. If you are still searching for a more practical way to do that, you might want to watch my video about it. I've linked it in the info card, top right corner. Now let's have a look at the disadvantages of my rings and cable pulley contraption. The most important one is a safety issue. You could hurt yourself tipping over and landing on the floor if you try to start with your hands on the same level, like in a normal push-up. 
because the instability caused by the pulley roll makes that position really hard to balance, especially with bent elbows. So you better start with one arm already extended and the hand on the ground for extra stability, like you see Mrs. Puhani do here. This minor risk of injury is increased by the fact that sooner or later you will have to elevate your feet, otherwise you are performing a rather steep incline push-up, which before long will become too easy for you if you keep doing this exercise. The other disadvantage is a purely economical one. You obviously need some equipment. A pair of gymnastics rings, a place where you can hang them up, and a simple cable pulley. I would also recommend a pair of short round slings in order to reduce the chafing on your upper arms. Otherwise the screws on the adjustable end of the cable can be really nasty to your skin. And that's all you need to know for an informed choice whether or not you want to give this exercise variation a try. As always I'm not indiscriminately recommending it to everybody. It may or may not be right for you. I'm just here to give you options and alternatives, not do's and don'ts. If you appreciate this philosophy, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with like-minded people and consider subscribing to my channel. Also, please tell me what topics you want me to cover in future videos. As always, I'm looking forward to your inspiring comments. My name is Florian and I will continue to make an effort so that you don't get bored with your training.